All right, so I was going to treat myself to a top quilt this Christmas, but what I've been using is an uh, old mummy bag anyway in my hammock. I bought this mummy bag. We were originally um, just camping in um, tents. We were sleeping out in tents, but when I, I didn't know anything. So when I bought the mummy bag, which just, you know what I mean, uh, there's regular sleeping bags and they kind of cut off at the shoulders. The mummy bags have... There's regular sleeping bags and they kind of cut off at the shoulders. The mummy bags have, have this hood. And this one, I think most of them are kind of tapered at the bottom. All right. I learned that I learned that I hate feeling trapped in anything. Um, it's just uncomfortable to me. I don't like, I don't, I don't like it at all. So it, it was a decent one I bought, so I, I didn't throw it out or anything. Um, I just would never zip it up and kind of just use it as the blanket. All right, fine. But when I switched over to hammocks, I learned that uh, you can't really use sleeping bags and that uh, you can't really use sleeping bags and hammocks. I mean, you can, but you get cold underneath because when you lay it, anything else, when you lay on these things, just like on the ground, um, the hammock compresses all the bottom and you lose all that insulation value. So basically you're freezing on the bottom and you're warm on the top. So in the hammocks, they sell under quilts, which you, which you put on the bottom of your hammock and um, top quilts to go over. I have a good under quilt. They're awesome. I love them. Um, highly recommend them. I got a snug pack one. It's uh, excellent, but I don't have, I didn't have any um, top quilt. So I just been using this and how I've been doing it is just, um, you know, using this obviously as a footbed, the top quilt, they, they, they have footbeds. So it would be exactly the same as this. It's just closed enough to where your feet stay in, right? And um, then you use the rest as a blanket. But they're like a regular sleeping bag to where, you know, they cut off like that at the top. And the way I use this, and I've been using it in the hammock for the last year, is the same exact way I use this as a footbed, right? But I'll turn this over. And use it as a blanket and in the top the hood covers my whole face and i'll just breathe out of the side my face will be over here out of the side and i'm warm from head to toe uh i'm fine so like i was saying i was gonna buy a top quilt but after looking at them and looking at the prices on them i mean it's kind of ridiculous i don't see the point in it at all the only thing i'm scared of with this is the zippers i don't like the zippers and i, and I move around a lot when i sleep so i get scared that i'm gonna rip my hammock all the time but this is where I think we're going to do some, some mods and I'm going to ask my wife right now. All right. So sweetie, I need your help here. All right. Now look, now see, this is my problem. I want to take these zippers off so they don't rip the hammock. Right? So I want to take off this whole zipper line, but it's super short. You see how small that is? It's not like a big zipper line. So you'd have to just cut. You know what I mean? That off without damaging, putting any holes in that. But you see how small that is? Mm -hmm. Can you do it? Yeah. Yeah? It's the same on both sides. Mm -hmm. So this, this, I think it's, it's rated to you know plus five Fahrenheit degrees or something. It, it says comfortably um, you can sleep between twenty and forty degrees. You can get down to twenty and forty degrees in this. Now I've I've I was sleeping out in um, freezing weather with this and just an underquilt. Before yeah, before I brought my underquilt, I was sleeping out with this and just a wool blanket, and I was okay. Um, I was fine. So with an underquilt. I, yeah, I'd have no problem getting down to about 20, uh, less than 20 degrees probably. I, I think I'll be good to 15 degrees um, with this and an underquilt and, of course, you know, thermals and, and whatever else you're going to wear, the clothing you're going to have on underneath it. But, yeah, that's the idea. This is like, a, I think, a $42 mummy bag. And, and the, the top quotes I'm looking at, you know, the cheapest one I saw, which was, which was, um, only three seasons. They ain't even. It's not even advertised for winter. Was uh, ninety nine bucks. I mean, they get up to three hundred dollars, two hundred dollars, one eighty, all over the place. But they're super expensive. And I don't like. I said I don't see the point in them. Um, this is fine. This is super warm, 
And once I take that zipper off, I have my footbed. My footbed's already built in. Um, and the rest just goes on top of me. And instead of cutting off at the shoulders, I have that whole hood uh, to wrap up in at night. And what I'll do is I just have a, I'll take any little, you know, something like this, a little throw pillow. I just still want to um, wipe throw pillows. And I just stick this right up in the hood. And that's not going to go anywhere in your hammock. And you're good to go like that. The whole point is we want to, me and um, me and my son want to sleep out in, uh, we're waiting on the first snowstorm. Hopefully like a blizzard or something. We're in the northeast. So we're waiting for the first blizzard of the season. We want to sleep out in the hammocks and um, snowstorm. That's the that's the goal for this year. Yeah, so that's it. Um, Don't waste your money on a, on a top quilt. Just convert an old sleeping bag if you got a sleeping bag you 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 know what i mean you you like and you're comfortable with and and again if you're if you can sleep all trapped in i can't even use a bug net i learned um i was gifted a whole eno system um beautiful great system but i i'm, I'm just mentally uncomfortable even being inside the bug net uh it just bothers me i don't like i don't like to feel like you know trapped in at all so i like to be free and um even for the mummy bags it bothers me if it doesn't bother you i mean just leave yours how it is, zip it up, and you're good to go in a hammock. But, uh, yeah, if not, just take that zipper off, flip it over, and you can use it just like a top coat. There is no difference, except you you get the extra warmth from the hood. And that's it. Yeah, hope this helps somebody. Don't waste your money. Use what you got. All right, guys. Peace.